I'm George Schultz, United States Marine Corps. When I went off active duty at the end of World War II, I was a captain. In my time as a reserve, I suddenly find myself a major, but I still think of myself as captain. Welcome to historic Union Square, known to many as the heart of San Francisco. We are here to honor the centennial anniversary of the Marine Corps Reserves. Established in 1916, reserve Marines have fought bravely in every battle from World War I to the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Join us as the Officer of the Day, the Honorable George P. Schultz, former Secretary of State, and our honored guest, the Commander of Marine Forces Reserve and Marine Forces North, Lieutenant General Rex C. McMillan, celebrate the 100 years of the Marine Corps Reserves with a performance by the 1st Marine Division Band and the 8th and I Silent Drill Platoon from Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. <laughs> This is Fleet Week, and I'm proud to be a Marine this week and every week. I remember when I became director of the budget, I had a little chat with the Secretary of Defense. His name was Mill Laird. I said, Mill, we'll have arguments now and then, but let's be clear on one thing. He said, what's that? What the Commandant wants, the Commandant gets. I remember the day the Sergeant handed me my rifle. He said, take good care of this rifle. This is your best friend. And remember one thing. Never point this rifle at anybody unless you're willing to pull the trigger. Boot camp wisdom. No empty threats. That's a lesson we need to learn. No empty threats. That's the Marine Corps way. Thank you. On behalf of the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Robert Neller, I want to thank the city of San Francisco for warmly welcoming the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, and our friends from Canada, the Canadian Air Force and the Canadian Navy, to Fleet Week 2016. What an honor it is to have the Secretary of State, George Schultz, with us. I mean, let me back up. Major Schultz, United States Marine Corps Reserve. We never thank them properly, nor welcome them home properly. So if you are a Vietnam veteran or served during that time from all the services, please raise your hand and be recognized so we can see you here today. Thank you for your service. The silent drill platoon executes its drill sequence without cadence or verbal command. The M1 rifles they carry with fixed bayonets weigh in excess of 10 and one half pounds. Well, I have seen the silent drill quite a few times at the Marine Barracks in Washington. You can hardly believe what you're seeing.
I see people coming in the Marine Corps who have served, who have learned a lot as a result of serving, so they come back into civilian life and they can be leaders. It's not so much giving back as it is continuing on.